You can see broken bridges and culverts like this in many parts of our country. Schools where children hold up umbrellas inside the classrooms when it rains. Then there are hospitals where the dogs lie in the wards. Areas that does not have clean water to drink. Towns that are littered with garbage, blocked drains and also loudspeaker nuisance. That's right, all kinds of issues like that. Is there really nothing we can do about this? Why not? We too can give our suggestions to the local authorities on how to find the answers to questions like these. How to allocate money for necessary work etc. No official can refuse to accept our suggestions without reason. If that happens, we can complain. There's no point in complaining. It doesn't work. Do not say that. Any officer who does not do his duty properly is not above us. They are there to serve us because they are paid from our tax money. We pay taxes to get public work done right. What did you mean by public work? Getting books and newspapers to a public library, cleaning the places where mosquitoes breed, repairing the broken roads, improving the quality of life of the people in the village, providing drinking water, maintaining the peace in the area, and such. Provincial councils pass a budget for public work in the village, right? Yes. Separate budget proposals are adopted in the respective councils regarding the expenses affecting a particular province, area or city. When preparing a budget like this, the opinions of local residents should also be considered. It will only be successful then. The budget is not a debate that we watch from the sidelines, but something that citizens need to come together to brainstorm about. That means we also have a responsibility in the village to make the budget successful, right? Exactly right. Only then will it become a citizen's budget. A budget document presented in a way that the public can easily understand is called a citizen's budget. There should be a pre-budget meeting for the public. In that meeting, the details about each expenditure head are presented in a way that is more simple and clear and understandable even to the public. I could not understand what you said, sir. Let me explain. I was talking about what should be included in a citizen's budget. For example, what resources are available in the province? How to generate income from them? How much revenue does the provincial council earn? When spending that money, which area should be given the most importance? What policies the budget is based on? So in the future when a budget comes, we need to stay alert. Absolutely right. If we are not watching, there is a possibility that the authorities will incur unnecessary expenses. Then we are the ones who will be in trouble without money for essential expenses. The authorities must take into consideration the views expressed by the people about the budget. The budget should be revised to accommodate the following. People's opinions and suggestions. Changes made according to those suggestions. What actions can be taken if the expectations of the people are not met? Do you think the things that you say will work in that manner? After all, this is Sri Lanka. <laughs> Don't say like that. As I said, the law requires the Gram Niladari officer to accept the proposals of the people and maintain a file. The people should be involved in the process of preparing the budget and also follow through to find out whether the approved money is being used correctly. That is what we call a social audit. When such a system is implemented, there will be a cordial relationship between the people and the government officials. Then the officials will be motivated to serve the people honestly, without cheating, without taking arbitrary decisions, avoiding corruption. If people understand their rights, the authorities cannot turn a blind eye until the bridges and culverts are broken. The democratic qualities of local governance can only be preserved through public participation. Let's understand the value of people's participation in governance activities to create a village and country free of corruption and waste.